All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and install a WordPress installation on your site. Right now, I've bought the domain and I've pointed my name servers to my hosting environment, but I haven't actually installed any files yet. So if you go to the domain, uh, it's, you're just going to see one big ad for whatever hosting company uh, you've pointed your domain servers to. Uh, this is getting hosted at Bluehost, so you're going to see a big Bluehost page, but there's no actual files on the site, so you're not going to see anything yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into my Bluehost C panel. Now, all these C panels are going to look very, very similar. It's they're all using the same uh, backend, but you know, depending on your hosting environment, you, you might have a few different options here. So, what you're going to do is look for something titled WordPress. That's what you're looking for. If you can't find something titled WordPress, you're going to look for something titled Simple Scripts, Soft Delicious, or like Website Builder or something along those lines. Um, I use Bluehost for all of my lower traffic test sites that I just kind of want to you know see if they work and throw them up real quick I use InMotion for a lot of the stuff that actually needs a lot um, you know more support behind it uh, it's stuff that I know that's going to get a lot more traffic so basically uh, you're going to look through here and you're going to find uh, you know something under site builders you're going to click on WordPress and you're going to give it a few seconds because this takes um, a few seconds to take it to the next screen here And uh, you're going to see all these scripts, uh, all this list, all these lists of scripts here, and all these th different things are free software that you can you can mess around with if you really want to. But uh, we're not going to really mess around with them at all. We're just going to talk uh, about WordPress right now. So you're going to click on this WordPress icon. If you can't find WordPress, just do a quick Control F and do a, a search for WordPress, and you're going to highlight it pretty quick. So you're going to click on WordPress and you click install a brand new version. You're going to pick the domain from the drop down. I've only got one domain so I'm going to pick that one. I'm going to title it. It's called single dollar. I can uh, click to view more options. I can pick a username and a password and an email address. And then I'm going to uncheck all these because we don't really need these uh, themes and plugins. We'll, we'll deal with those later and uh, we'll talk about which ones you really need to get started. So uh, you hit complete and uh, this is going to give me an error right now. It says, hey, I've got a directory already there. I'm going to be overwriting files. Now I know already that I actually don't have anything um, installed there, so I, I don't really care right now. But I've done it in the past where you actually, if, you, if you've got multiple domains on this account, you can overwrite those files. So if you've got multiple domains on this account, you want to be really careful because you don't want to overwrite and delete an entire directory with your new WordPress installation. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I first started out uh, three or four years ago, I did this about probably about five times um, on one website before I finally learned my lesson. So be really careful if you've got other files in your hosting environment that you're not overwriting um, that information already. So hit continue, and this is going to automatically install WordPress for you. And so you give it a few seconds to work, because it's going to run the installation. So once you have success, you're going to get all this information. It's going to tell you your site URL, your login URL, username and password. So right now I'm going to just click, uh, I'm going to click back to this website. And I'm going to hit refresh, and you're going to see that you have a normal WordPress site. This is the basic theme for all WordPress sites, and it's going to look really, really, really simple. I'm going to come back to the screen. I'm going to hit the admin. Um, it gives you the URL that you're going to log into, and I'm going to copy paste all the credentials for the login, and uh, I'm in. And so that's basically how you get WordPress installed on your hosting environment. Uh, like I said, if you really don't want to have to deal with this, you can call up support and you can have them install it for you. But it's really not that hard. And when you see, you know, it's it takes less than five minutes. It's uh, it's something easy you can knock out really, really quick. So that's how you set up your hosting environment. Uh, with WordPress, we'll talk in the next video about what you need to get WordPress rocking and rolling and what plugins, what themes you should be using in order to get the most out of your site. So I'll see you next time and check out the next video, guys.